second hundred yard receiving day for you this season. What was kind of working for you today? Um, yeah, I, th I feel like I started off slow. I dropped that one pa uh, pass in the openers, um, and then it, you know, I was just kind of just flowing with it, flowing with the game a little bit, and uh, you know, I just came up whenever my my number was called, and uh, you know, make plays. That's all it is. Uh, Jackson trusts me enough to you know, put the ball in the air um, whenever we need a big-time play, and uh, he did that, and they were able to execute. Lane was just in here commending um, Q's grit, you know, despite not practicing as much this week, being hurt and all that. Did you have any doubt in your mind that he would play today and get 13 carries? Um, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, Q's a warrior. He's a tough guy. Um, he's a tough kid, really, you know, and, and, you know, he wants to be out there with his guys. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're our best whenever he's on the field, obviously. And, uh, you know, it was really good to see him go go through the week that he had and then come out on Saturday and, uh, you know, be ready to go for us and put it all on the line. Um, you, you've talked some about, you know, your, your chemistry with Jackson. And obviously you had that scoring connection late in the game. But what can you <clears throat> what can you say about his grit? I mean, 136 yards on the ground, 14 rushes today. What, what can you say about the, the physicality he brings to the game? Yeah, you know, Jackson's really tough. Um, you know, he's not tougher than me, but he's, he's super tough. And, uh, you know, we, we go back and forth on that. But, uh, you know, he's a heck of a ball player. And, uh, you know, he just he just wants to win. And, that, and that's awesome to see, especially out of your quarterback. Um, you know, he'll put it all out there on the line for you, um, no matter what the circumstance is. And, uh, you know, he's just an awesome guy. Jordan, has, has this offense played as well as it's capable of yet this season? Yeah, I think we I think we've shown flashes of uh, what we can be, um, but I don't think we've reached our full potential yet. Um, you know, we got the SEC gauntlet coming up here soon. Uh, next week starts next week, so uh, you know I think that we're gonna have to be on our P's and Q's. Um, you know, uh, throughout this stretch of uh, really really tough games. So um, yeah, I don't think we've got there yet, but we've shown flashes of it for sure. Trey was doing so much for you guys early and so much was expected of, of Caden pre-scoring in, in the passing game. Uh, how much are you and Dayton putting on yourselves now with, with those two guys' statuses? Yeah, you know, we've uh, we stepped up to the plate a lot, you know, just, uh, you know, just being kind of, uh, you know, that voice around the room and uh, helping the younger guys that, you know, like Aiden Williams, who hadn't started a game yet. And, uh, you know, he gets his number called today. And, uh, you know, you just got to be a, a voice in those guys' ear and, uh, you know, just encourage them a little bit. Um, as well as doing your job as well. So uh, me and me and D Wade, we've uh, we've taken uh, huge steps and uh, you know our roles and our leadership roles and um, you know just bringing the younger guys along. You said your offense is flashing. What are, what are you going to have to do to take it to the next level where it's more consistent? Is it an execution thing? Um, I think so. I think we just got to lock into the details a little bit more, you know, and uh, like you said, execute a little bit better. And, uh, you know, obviously the other team, they're, they're on scholarship too. You know, they, they're, like Coach Kiff said, you know, they're, um, you know, their coaches get paid too. So uh, we just got to execute better and uh, come out and uh, play Ole Miss football. Um, you know, we our offense is known to be really, really explosive, really powerful. So, uh, you know, we just got to get to that. Kind of through the teammate eyes, you know, receiver eyes. How, how have you seen Aiden through these first three games of his career? I know it's stat sheet in there, but what are you seeing maybe between the notes with him so far? Right. You know, I think he's just been a, a huge sponge um, and just kind of taking it all in, you know, having three older guys, um, me, D Wade, and Trey, you know, kind of uh, to look up to a little bit. You know, he's just been, you know, picking our brains a lot. You know, we all three of us played a lot of, a lot of ball, um, but he's, he's come along great. Um, you know, he's, he's big, he's physical, um, he doesn't care to block, um, and that's what we need, especially whenever we got Q back there running the ball. You know, we need guys who's going to go out there and block, and uh, he's not afraid to do it, um, and I think that's super huge. Yeah, with the guys being banged up, have you seen Jackson kind of step up as a leader? <clears throat> I mean, the run game had been struggling, and he breaks off nearly 140 yards. How have you seen him step up with some of these skill guys, you know, not being 100%? Yeah, for sure. You know, like I said before, he just wants to win. So, uh, you know, he'll do anything he can to win. Um, if, if that means putting his body on the line and, like you said, rushing for 140 yards, then he'll do it. Um, and it's just, you know, it, it's awesome because, you know, when you're quarterback, everybody looks at the quarterback. So he's just able to go out there and put it on the line, and that makes guys want to follow him and uh, um, go out there and just really do the same thing. And it's it's awesome to see. And, uh, you know, and I think it, it's super positive for our uh, for our team. As a team, nearly 300 rushing yards. Just how much easier, or how does that open up the pass game for guys like you? 
Yeah, for sure. I def I think that definitely opens up the passing game a lot whenever we're able to whenever we're able to run the ball. Um, you know, that's just kind of football it, in itself. Uh, whenever you got a really really powerful run game, um, you know, it obviously opens up the pass game. They bring more in the box. So, uh, you know, being able to establish the run game a, a lot better than in this game is is huge for us. It seemed like in any situation where the team just needed to get a first down, you were the go-to guy, especially with some injuries of key players on the offense. Tell me more about this chemistry you've developed with Jackson. Yeah, for sure. Jackson trusts me, um, you know, in, in situations like that when it's third down and, uh, you know, he kind of needs somebody to go to, um, you know, I'm kind of his go-to guy uh, a little bit. So, um, you know, it's awesome that we, we built that connection over the summer, over the spring and, uh, you know, over a little bit of last year. Um, and it, it, it's awesome to be able to be that guy that, uh, you know, he's just able to trust in those kind of situations. Um, so, you know, it's been, it's been really, really fun. Thank you.